All right, you guys, taking a look at possible replacement of full system, possible replacement of AC coil, and possible replacement of just ductwork. So, um, currently we got a 125,000 BTU furnace. We have a, looks to be a five ton coil. Yeah, five ton coil. Um, undersized return, so our return is coming across here, picking up a joist and across here picking up some other joys and coming in between there. And then our duck runs, we got 11 of them. Two of them are uh, eight inch, the other nine or six inch. So we're at about almost 1600 CFMs. Uh, so not terrible there, but not the greatest on, on both. Um, cooling has been working really well for them other than their upstairs hallway. Um, this unit's only about nine years old. However, we got some return issues and then they have had a leak. Uh, they've had to have this charge twice since they, you know, they've had to charge twice once while they've been here. Um, flue piping comes up, got a flue liner, gas piping coming down, it's got track pipe connected to it, uh, switch. We'd want to get into a new five inch filter and return air base if we can do that. And then if we pull these little staples out, not any for a little while, but we could slide this wiring over just a little, you know, communication wire. Then we can cut in a bigger return um, and allow for our five inch filter. Uh, I'll probably measure that joist just to get like a, probably a new uh, patch over that and then recut something in. And uh, that's about it down here. You got to walk out a uh, line set runs the length of the basement, comes out. Right here and then there's our AC. Uh, I'll see what size that is. And then our uh, evapor or excuse me, our uh, breaker is on a 16 amp Murray. So we'll just have to make sure we fuse correctly if, uh, if that's needed.